My story starts like many others. I was born in November 1989. I had a really happy and active childhood. I did gymnastics, swimming, dancing, brownies, nature group. I was always busy. In 2001, my granddad became really unwell and unfortunately passed away. During this time, my mental health started to slide. By 2003, I had some real issues. I was restricting my intake, self-harming and purging calories through exercise. These things continued, but I was in complete denial. By 2006, I was notably unwell. I underwent multiple tests and investigations and when asked about my mental health, denied any problems. This resulted in me being diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. I somehow made it through my A-levels and in 2008 I moved from Derby to go and study at the University of Southampton. Away from home my eating disorder was getting out of control. I went to the GP and was referred to the eating disorder service where I underwent cognitive analytical therapy. 2010. Discharge from eating disorders team. First overdose placed under the care of the crisis team. 2011. Dialectal behavioural therapy started. Battled through struggling to survive. 2012, graduated university and got my first real postgraduate job. 2013, really struggling again with my mental health, switched jobs, first time in day patient. A friend suggested I might have premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Spoke to the psychiatrist about this and was told, wouldn't it be nice if it was just hormones? 2014, anorexia in full force. 2015, hospitalised twice on acute psychiatric wards. 2016, discharged and started psychology, day patient take two, diagnosed with premenstrual dysphoric disorder, life is better with ADPAC oestrogen, on the 29th of December my rena coil fitted. 2017, life begins to fall apart again, referred to London for specialist input, ran my first marathon, 30th of November, first decapeptal injected to induce chemical menopause. Chemical menopause begins to fail, resulting in a decline in mental health and multiple medical admissions. 25th of March 2018, admitted to the local crisis house for my own safety. 19th of April 2018, given my first Solidex injection and put on a three month progesterone break. Life is good. Decide that I'm going to go ahead with surgery. Granted funding for fertility treatment. June 2018, restart monthly progesterone and commence a year-long admission to the acute psychiatric unit. Develop a heart problem and have to stop meds. Heart problem resolves. August 2018, have my first surgery consultation. October 2018, have my first fertility consultation. November 2018, get the green light on surgery. December 2018, develop flu, pneumonia and sepsis, end up in hospital. 24th of December 2018, abnormal ultrasound scan. 2019, biopsies taken and a long three week wait for results, all clear. Fertility and egg harvesting started, life on the psych unit continues. May, hysterectomy and bilateral saflingu oophorectomy, age 29. September. Run Koyu Gardens 10k dressed as a uterus. November. Get my driving licence back. Get a car. Move house. Get a job. Turn 30. December. Start grieving for everything that has occurred. 2020. The year my life really begins.